de Marrow Bonjour. Good morning. Welcome to another day. I'm Shayna. Um, we were just getting up here and we are done eating. And now my oldest dog is nuts. He, he got up with daddy. And I He's guess out the window. I guess he either wants to look out the window. That's what he gets to see, or he wants to work with Daddy on the computer. Daddy is working today. He's getting some uh, stuff shipped for the shop, and but once he's done with that, we are going to go to. Walmart again because the one item that we bought last night was actually Stop. wrong. Um, and then we have to get a hose for water no, and a couple other things. Got some motorcyclists here, I guess, huh? Driving around. But hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, I said I was going to show you what we had going on here. Um, this is kind of a wreck, I guess you want to say. Um, they put this like concrete pad in, okay? And we had to drag this picnic table up here last night. Um, it sucked, but you can see how unlevel it is. I literally have the front of the uh, the camper way in the air. The jacks are fully extended, just to try to match up to the back. And then if you can see way down there is our power you can see my cord on the ground there <clears throat> that's how far away i had to go so that kind of sucks but um we're we're right here on this end corner and um shana has already stepped in dog crap three times because people managed to bring their dogs down here to this corner and uh put you know let them go to the bathroom here so it kind of sucks but i mean for the most part it works um luckily i i didn't get stuck in the mud here coming in um dude me next to me said that they tried to pull up in and when they tried to pull up in he got stuck i guess down in there and it's kind of weird he didn't unhook his camper and level it or nothing um, he's still hooked up and they didn't even have their jacks down. So I'm not really sure if he's planning on moving, if they're actually here for a week or what's going on, but I don't know. Um, we're for the most part, we're as level as we can be. Um, obviously we probably can't use those stairs. Um, we don't typically use them anyways. Uh, I hooked up my accessory rail here and tried to use this stove, but I bought a cable or hose that goes from here down to this quick connect right here. And the problem is, is the quick connect is wrong. So I can't even use this. So we're gonna actually go to um, Walmart and we're gonna grab a, uh, little one pound bottle and hook it up and use it for the time being i gotta return the hose i don't know what i'm gonna do about a hose i i read online about hoses and how these little disconnect things have 50 different hoses or different ends it doesn't push it in far enough to release the gas is what the problem is so i don't know learning learning as we go you know, but we did get the awning up. That's good. Yeah, we, we learned how to how to do that. So, got the awning all up. Refrigerator's working. So that was a good uh, repair that I did. And if you uh, didn't see that video for how to, if you have an RV and you want to have the fridge cool down a little more efficiently, I have a video. I'll put a link up. Um, of how to put fans in it and stuff and help it circulate air to cool down and stuff a little faster and a little more efficiently and not let it work as hard. 
But I think we're going to get going here. We're going to head over and try to get some stuff. We still have to pick some stuff up. We need a hose for water because right now we have no water. So we need a hose for water and then um, a, a propane bottle for this thing. But we got a little grill. A little grill here they set up. We're not going to use it. But then we have the little fire pit, which we're going to try to use as long as it doesn't rain. And then I got the dogs hooked up to a tree with these with these lines here. Got got some rope running the trees. Xavier does not like it at all. He thinks um, we're we're leaving them behind or something whenever we we tie them up. He hates being tied up. But all right, we're gonna get moving here. One hour later. All right, so we just ran and we got um, a garden hose. She picked up some other little things that she wants to do for like uh, cleaning. She, you know, instead of dumping our water in our tanks and stuff. But um, yeah, I had to run a hundred foot garden hose to that little thing right there. Um, that's your power, that's your hose or your water. And I had to run it down through here to the other side of the, uh, the camper here. And we're actually getting ready for lunch. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't hook up my hose, so I had to give it a little one-pound bottle. So I don't know. Dilemma resolved. Now I have everything in case we go somewhere camping again. We have a longer extension cord. We have a longer water hose. So that's good. The dogs, I gave them uh, longer leashes tied into this tree. I don't know what she's doing. Cleaning this off so I can get it ready to eat. To eat. I'm getting I'm, all the spiders off. I'm burning off a pan. Best way to clean them right there. But it's pretty cool. I mean, as long as there's not anybody driving around down here in, to this in little intersection. There are dogs poop in this area. Yeah, we're, uh, we're finding they some dog crap everywhere. Dogs. People aren't cleaning up after their dogs are bringing them down here to this corner and not cleaning it up and leaving and everybody's been walking past through here and stuff so i don't know it's kind of annoying we, we put some rocks down to cover up and it's not even like it's big dogs it's little dogs so you can't even see it you just step in it it's nice it's fun but we went and we uh, got this all set up here we're gonna do a fire here later i'm gonna put the drone up
don't know what this stuff is over here. It almost looks like a bunch of uh, old RVs. It's all gated off. It's like it's like RVs that people left behind, I guess. But I'm gonna get to cleaning this pan because it's smoking pretty good now. I'm gonna start lunch. So we're gonna get to eating some lunch here. So finally, Xavier is uh, semi calmed down. He's not barking every 10 seconds. We come out, we go for a little bit of a walk here. She's gathering up some uh, wood for tonight to burn. And um, now that I'm standing still, he's starting to get edgy. Huh. So we're gonna keep moving. He says, what are you doing over here? I gotta know. Oh, I gotta know. Come on. I gotta here. know. Yeah, you're gonna be able to carry that the whole way around now. Now that now that you loaded that up. the mud over this way and we're back huh two hours later okay so he got the fire started Xavier is being a butthead. He won't eat his food. Keeps trying to dump it. Well, we have a visitor. Xavier's not too happy about it. There's a little chippy. He's running around. I don't know what he's trying to do. Yeah, he keeps coming closer and he, closer. He went into this ditch right now. Xavier saw him. He, he about ran into Xavier and Xavier started barking at him. Much, much, much later. I think at this place they have golf cart racing. Because earlier there was like four oh, yeah, there's only golf two. carts that come flying past us. I think they're all drunk. Let's see if they do anything. If they notice I have a camera. <laughs> Comes. Nah, this is just a lonely one. Here comes another one. 
They got they got golf they got golf cart races. Oh no, there it is. There, there they come. Our fire is dwindling down. There they come. They're in last place. A few moments later. We are making some Mountain pies, pizza. pizza, mountain pies. She's whipping them up right there. Making I, a mini one. I actually already have the two things in the fire right there. I don't know if you can see them. It's kind of dark. Here's the handles. Oh, that means one's ready. <laughs> 